Good morning, and thank you for tuning in once again for another yoga with Alana. Today, let's begin just sitting on your mat. So take your time coming on down, and let's begin in Sukhasana, easy seat. So legs simply crossed, and as you come down to your mat, just take a moment and shift side to side. So you feel nice and evenly grounded through each sit bone. Let's take these first few minutes of the practice to calm our minds, center our bodies, and just root right into our mat, our home base. Knowing that this is our place of complete acceptance for what is and what is not. Knowing that all is well. Take a moment, let your palms face down onto your knees. As you inhale, draw that breath in through the belly, to the heart, all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, let the breath sink down through your sit bones, deep into the earth. Inhale, draw that breath up. Building your entire body up to the crown. Exhale, reconnect into the earth. Continue at your own pace. Noticing the expansion on the inhale and the connection rooting on the exhale. Notice how when you exhale, the shoulders drop down away from the ears. Pelvis is heavy into the earth. Notice as you inhale, you gain length through each vertebrae. The spine lifts, the crown of the head lengthens. And then slowly we're going to add movement to our bodies. So as you inhale, we're going to start to rotate the torso forward, moving into a circular pattern, lifting the chin. And on the exhale, we're going to round the torso back, chin towards chest. Stirring the pot, inhale, open the front body. And on the exhale, rounding, hammocking the spine. Inhale, lifting and opening. And exhale, rounding. Two more breaths. And then we're going to slowly reverse the direction of the circle. So you can keep your eyes closed through this motion. Maybe start to become a little bit more fluid through the neck, letting the ear drop to shoulder. Moving slow and steady, like you're moving through a pot of molasses. Visualize the opening of the spine in the front, the sides, and on the back. One more fluid round. And then slowly come back to that neutral spine. On the inhale, let's circle with the arms up towards the sky, lift the chin, looking upwards. On the exhale, rotate your torso towards the right, release your right hand behind you, left hand crosses over. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the spine. Exhale, come into your twist. Keep your breath low, strong and deep through the twist. On the next inhale, rotate your torso back to center, reaching high. Exhale, take it to the opposite side. Release the hands. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale. 
Inhale, rise back to center, looking up. And on the exhale, let the hands float down by the sides. From here, let's transition into tabletop position. So come onto your hands and knees here. And let's move into an easy cat and cow. On the inhale, lift the tailbone, relax the navel, lift the chin. On the exhale, starting from the base of the spine, tuck the tailbone, grounding, press deep into the hands. Reversing the motion, rippling the spine, opening the heart. Exhale, round. Three more rounds at your own pace. Maybe again, leave the eyes closed. Tune in to the opening occurring across the body. Connecting that breath with movement, what is called vinyasa, linking movement of the body to the breath. And then slowly finding that neutral spine, the balance between cat and cow. We're going to move into some side bending. So shift your hips over to the right and then gaze over that right hip bone. So you're opening that whole left side and then shifting to the opposite side. Like you're wagging your tail or imagine you're a fish swimming up a river, fluid side to side motion. And one more time, each side. And slowly coming back into a neutral spine. From tabletop position, let's take our hands one palm print forward, tuck your toes under, and then slowly start to sink your hips back towards your heels. So you're tucking your toes under to get that nice stretch, that opening on the bottoms of the feet. Maybe slide your hands forward even more and let your forehead drop down towards the ground. So it's kind of an active child pose. You're keeping your elbows lifted up away from the earth. Feel those shoulder blades plug down into the body. And then from here, let's shift into downward facing dog. Lifting the hips high, sink down through the heels. And then make it a nice fluid downward dog. Pedaling one heel down at a time. Maybe take a moment and shake your head yes and no. Relax the crown of the head. Relax the muscles in the face. Maybe take a beautiful cleansing breath in through the nose and ah, out through the mouth. Let's take our time walking our feet forward to the front of the mat, moving into a nice, easy forward fold, soft bend in the knees, and let's ragdoll, hold on to opposite elbows, swaying the torso side to side, relaxing the shoulders. Releasing the hold of the elbows, root down through your feet, stacking your bones one on top of the other. And once you arrive, standing tall, let the arms reach overhead, looking towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, looking up. Exhale, take it all the way down, forward fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold two more times like that. Inhale, halfway lift, hands can come on the shins or thighs. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step one foot and the other back into a high plank. Release your knees, untuck your toes, lower all the way down to your belly. One cobra this time. Inhale, lift, press to the tops of the feet, shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, rounding the hips back to the heels. Breathe, flow through a child's pose. Tuck your toes, 
leading back, downward dog. Looking up between the hands, stepping your way to the front of the mat. Rise halfway up on the inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands at heart. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, one time. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, stepping back into your high plank. On the exhale, lower down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra, maybe taking upward dog. Exhale, right back into downward facing dog. Looking up between your hands, stepping your way to the top of the mat. Rise halfway up on the inhale. On the exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, heart center. Again, inhale, dive up, lead with your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant to your hands. Stepping back, high plank. Lower chaturanga, elbows brush the ribs. Inhale, cobra, maybe upward facing dog. Exhale, right in the downward dog, and hold it here. Two more breaths. Maybe cleansing breath. Clear out that energy. On the next inhale, lifting with your left leg, lift from the inner thigh, heel up towards the sky, three-legged dog. On the exhale, step or guide that left foot up between your hands, release your back knee down onto the ground, untuck the toes. Left knee over the left heel, open your collarbones, lift your chin, Engage your center, and then we're going to rise up, reaching the arms overhead. Rotate your palms forward. On the exhale, cactus arms, elbows down towards the ribs. Two more times like that. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, activate the muscles along your back, pulling the elbows down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Release the hands down. Either side of that front foot. Let's take a gentle twist. Root down through your right hand. Inhale, sweep your left arm overhead. You can stay with the back knee on the ground or tuck the toes and lift that back knee up. Exhale, release that top hand. If your back knee is not already lifted, let's pick it up. And then we're going to shift the hips back. Maybe those left toes reach up towards the sky. Walk your hands back underneath the shoulders. Drop your chest towards that knee. Breathe into the back of the knee. Root down through your left foot. Walk your hands forward. Step your left foot back into a high plank. Take your flow, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, and drop in to downward facing dog. Lots of cleansing breaths this morning. Let's release some of that stagnant energy. So again, inhale through the nose, exhale, heavy sigh. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step or guide it up between the hands. Release your back knee, untuck your toes, find your balance. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, elbows towards the ribs. Strong arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull it down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale to release the arms up. And exhale, release the hands down. Take your twist. Root down through that left hand. Sweep your right arm up. Now, option to pick up the back knee. One more breath in. Exhale, release that top hand. Start to shift your right hip back. Walk your fingertips along with you. Straighten out that right knee. Maybe picking up the toes. Getting into the calf a little bit deeper there. Gazes towards that knee. And gently walking the hands forward. Step your right foot back into high plank. Taking your flow, lowering chaturanga. Back bend on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do something a little bit different now. We're going to flow from downward dog forward into plank pose. We're going to do that with a 10 second count. So take as many breaths as you need. I will count for 10 full seconds, taking us all the way forward into plank. Once we get to plank, we will hold again for 10 seconds. So when you're ready, let's inhale, floating forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold your plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Floating back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Holding down dog for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, float it forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Find your center and breathe for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And shift it back for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold down dog for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release your knees. Untuck your toes. Walk your hands to the right side of the mat. Both hands off of the mat. And then sink your hips back towards your heels, taking a child's pose, opening that whole left side of the body. Nice work. Deep breathing. Inhale to rise on up. Walk your hands to the center and then over to that right side. And deep breath will sink your hips back towards your heels. Full breath. Feeling alive, feeling the heat, moving through the spine, through your core. And rise back one out. Walk your hands back to center. And then sink your hips back towards your heels. Let your hands this time come back behind you. Rock pose. Drop your forehead, relax your shoulders. Take a few conscious breaths into the back of your heart, opening that back body. From rock pose, 
sweep your hands back forward, moving back into downward facing dog. Preparing for our next round of vinyasa, our next flow. Let's start with the left leg again. Inhale the left heel up towards the sky. Exhale, shift that left knee forward towards the nose. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. This time, shifting forward from left knee to left elbow. Inhale, rise, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee crosses over towards that right side. Inhale, rise, last time. This time, exhale, step that left foot up between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Windmill the arms all the way around into warrior two. Settle in. Feel that your weight is evenly distributed between your front foot and your back foot. We have a tendency to pour our weight into the front foot in warrior two. So maybe see how it feels to float back an inch and then drop back into it. Soften your baby. Take your left hand up towards the sky, lean forward slightly. Exhale, drop it back, peaceful warrior. Inhale, come forward, take it right to the side angle, left forearm onto left thigh, right arm overhead. Inhale, come all the way back into peaceful warrior. Exhale, sink forward into that front knee. Inhale to release one more time, side angle pose, reaching that right arm over. Inhale to release. From here, straighten that front leg, moving into triangle pose. Option to shorten your stance here, so maybe take that back foot in, six inches. Pull that left hip in, straighten that left leg, reach forward to those left fingertips. And then draw into your triangle pose. Rolling that right shoulder back. Crown of your head is active. Now moving into half moon pose. Take that back foot in just slightly. Release your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Often to have a block in this pose. It's great support here. Start to pour your weight into your left foot. Lift your right leg up. Stacking your hips. Roll that right hip back. Active through the right fingertips. Option to open the heart here. Bending that right knee. Grabbing a hold of that right foot. Opening the quads. Opening the shoulder. If you're in the bind, let's release. Slowly, gracefully, dropping right back in to warrior two. Lower the back foot down and tilt your way back up. Reach the arms overhead, rotate the right toes in. So the feet are parallel, maybe widen your stance if you shortened it earlier. Interlace the hands behind you, left thumb on top. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, and exhale, drop it down. Release the hands to the mat. Slowly rotate all ten toes to the front. Walk your hands forward. Hands come onto either side of that front foot. Step that left foot back into plank. Take your flow, come all the way down. We're going to change our cobra up a little bit. Crocodile cobra. So for crocodile cobra, your fingertips come off of the mat. Tent up your hands and your elbows are right over your wrists. We're going to do three rounds. Press through the pads of the fingers, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale like a wave, come all the way back down. Two more rounds. 
Inhale, lift, maybe coming up a little bit higher. Exhale, release everything back to the mat. One more time. Inhale, rippling your heart up. Lift the chin, lift the gaze. And exhale, release. Hands back underneath the shoulders. Press through the hands. Maybe roll through a nice, sweet child's pose. On your way back to downward facing dog. From downward dog, lifting the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. On the exhale, shifting forward, right knee in towards the nose. Inhale, lift and lengthen, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee crosses to the left, shift forward. Inhale, lift, one last deep breath. Exhale, step that right foot up between your hands. Spin your back heel down. One graceful breath takes you all the way around. Drop into your warrior two. Rotate your right hand towards the sky. Lean forward slightly. Exhale into peaceful warrior. Inhale to come out. Exhale into your side angle pose. Inhale to shift out. Exhale one more time. Peaceful warrior. Inhale to shift. Exhale. Side angle. Inhale, come on out. Reach your arms overhead. Rotate those right toes in. Left toes slightly out. Interlace your hands behind you, right thumb on top. Inhale, open your heart, lift your chin, lift your chest. Exhale, come into your fold. Keep in the bind. Relax the crown of the head. Exhale, release the hands. Hold it here for a few more breaths. Options with your hands, you can hold on to the ankles here. You can also hold on to opposite elbows and give yourself a nice pendulum sway side to side. Slowly release your hands to the mat. We're gonna walk our hands to the front, rotate all 10 toes forward. Stepping that right foot back, come all the way down onto your belly. Three rounds of that crocodile cobra. Fingertips off the mat. Inhale, rippling your spine all the way up, chin to the last part to lift. And exhale, melt back to the ground. Two more. Inhale, like a wave, rolling up. Draw that breath in, straighten the elbows. Exhale, melt back down. Last time, inhale. Good dance through the spine. Exhale, melt. Hands underneath the shoulders. Roll your hips back towards your heels. Take a child's pose and relax. Thread the needle. So let's bring your left hand to the center of the mat. On the inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the sky. On the exhale, thread it under. Release the right shoulder. Release the right side, the right ear. From here, walk your left hand up towards the top of the mat, rolling your gaze up towards the sky. Slide that left hand back underneath the left shoulder. Sweep your right arm up to release. Take one last twist on this side and release that right hand. 
On the inhale, switching to the opposite side, sweep that left arm up. Exhale, thread it under, release that left shoulder, release the left ear, and walk your right hand up. Slide that right hand back under the right shoulder. Sweep that left arm up to release. And exhale back, tabletop. I'm just realizing we did not do our triangle and half moon on the other side, so let's come back to that. Back into downward dog, let's find our balance from side to side. Let's bring the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through. Spin the back heel down. We'll come right back into warrior two and take it into triangle. So shift that right leg towards straight. Reach forward and then drop into your triangle pose. In triangle, we have five lines of energy. Two out of our arms, two out of the legs, nice straight legs. And then one right out through the crown of the head. So see if you can visualize those five points in your body right now. From triangle pose, we'll take it into half moon, taking that back foot in a few inches. Right hand underneath the right shoulder, pour your weight into that right foot and lift. Activate that left heel. Maybe adding that. Little back bend by bending that right heel. I'm sorry, left, grabbing a hold of the left foot. Rolling that top shoulder back. Slowly release the bind if you're there. Shifting right back gracefully to that warrior two. Windmill hand down either side. Gazing to the top of the mat, we're going to step that left foot right up to the front. Come into a chair pose from here. Reach your arms up. Flood the shoulders back into the body. Come high onto your tippy toes. Lower your heels. Lower your hips towards your heels very slowly. So bring your hands at your heart. And then hands to the earth. Slowly bring your hips onto your mat. Wrap your hands around the tops of the shins. Drop your forehead to your knees. Breathe into the back body. From here, let the knees drop out to the side. And we're going to take that right leg, extend it out to the side, leave the left knee bent. And let's bring the right hand down, the right leg. Bring the left arm overhead. Imagine that you have a light in your heart. The light should be pointing straight forward. So maybe take a moment to roll that left shoulder back. Gaze is ahead of you. Heart is breathing forward. And then inhale, come back to center. Keep your legs as they are, fingertips in front of you. Inhale, nice long spine. On the exhale, start to walk your hands forward. Half forward fold. Walking your hands back towards you. Let's switch sides, draw that right foot in. Extend the left leg out. Starting with our side bend. Sweep your left hand down that left leg. Right arm over. Roll that top shoulder back. Inhale, come back to center. Fingertips in front of you. Nice long spine. Exhale, start to walk forward. Inhale, come back to center. 
center. Extend that right leg out, coming into a full straddle pull. Take a moment, maybe lift your sit bones up and away and then root them back in so you feel nice and grounded and even through each side. Fingertips in front of you. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale. Start to walk forward. Let the eyes close so you can really tune in to the opening into your body. I like to add the option to kind of sway your way forward, make it a dance, floating side to side. Maybe your forearms come down to the earth. It's a moment to find stillness. Ease your way back, torso, nice and long. And we're going to take our hands, outer edges of the legs, draw them back to center. <clears throat> Taking a slight counter pose here, walk your hands behind you, soft bend in the knees, lift your, engage your glutes, and then lift your hips up, reverse tabletop. And then slowly let the hips come back towards the ground. Extend the legs out long. Keep your hands behind you. <clears throat> Soft, easy bend in the knees to begin. Then start to lift your heart. Make your spine nice and strong. Then straighten out the legs. Now you might already feel like this is enough. Stretch through your hamstrings. To take it further, start to bring your hands forward. Slowly start to walk them towards the front of the mat, if that serves you. Start to round your chin towards your chest, soften the back body as you drop your heart forward. Take about five to ten breaths here. Nice, soft, forward fold. Let your breath be like a massage for this tightness across your hips, across your spine. Let each exhale bring ease to the back of the knees. seated pigeon pose. So start with your left leg, cross your left heel over your right thigh, drop that knee down. Again, this might be enough for that hip. To deepen the pose, start to bend that right knee, slide the foot flat onto the mat, push that left knee down in a way to lift the heart. The further you slide that right foot towards you, the more of an opening you're going to feel across that left glute. Out of the pose, slowly start to slide that right leg straight, uncross your left. Pedal out the knees a few times, shake it out. And then crossing that right ankle on top of the left thigh. Maybe explore moving a little bit deeper. Gaze this forward. Press your palms into the mat to keep your spine rebounding up and away from the earth. Light in your heart. And then coming out, slowly lengthen that left leg out long. Uncross your right ankle. And pedal up the knees a few times. 
Shift your hips forward, hands on the backs of the thighs, and we're going to slowly roll ourselves onto our backs. Draw the knees into the chest, rocking your knees side to side. Invite a sense of relaxation into the spine. Imagine the pelvis heavy, lower back is flat, shoulders are relaxed. <clears throat> Extend that right leg out long, press out through the heel, interlace your fingers on top of that left knee as you hug it into the left shoulder. Slowly guide that left knee all the way across the body, coming into a nice easy twist. Open your arms like a T and gaze across that left shoulder. Soft, heavy breaths, relaxing the spine. Inhale back to center. One last time, draw that knee in and then extend it out long. Right knee into right shoulder, interlace the fingers on top of that chin, hug that knee in close. And then guiding that knee across the body. Opening the arms and gaze across that right shoulder. Inhale back to center, hug that knee in one last time, and then extend that leg out long. We'll do one last pose to bring symmetry back into our spine. One round of bridge pose. Knees are bent, feet are hip distance apart, heels are close to the body. Hands down by the hips, flatten up that lower back. Engage your glutes, your inner thighs, press down evenly through all four corners of the foot and then lift your hips up nice and high. Nice static hold here. See if you can notice a difference from side to side. And if you do, try to even that out, that imbalance. Focus your energy for your big toes. See the soft rise and fall of your belly. And then pour your weight into your tippy toes. Lift your heels. Keeping your heels lifted, let your spine come down one vertebrae at a time. Starting with the thoracic spine, the backs of the ribs. Feeling each part of that lumbar spine drop into the earth. And then finally the sacrum, tailbone, relax it, relax the heel. Extend your legs out nice and long, setting up for your final relaxation pose, Shavasana. Your toes relax to the side. Open your palms up towards the sky. Feel that front part of your body radiating up towards the heavens. Relax your jaw. Relax your forehead. And just notice how it feels to let your whole being marinate in the afterglow. Settle into the earth. Settle your physical body. Settle your mind. 
movement back into the body center with this deep, conscious breaths. And thinking again, a few rounds of cleansing breaths in through the nose, filling the belly, and then AJ through the mouth. Starting to wiggle the fingertips and toes, rotating the wrists and ankles. Maybe taking a beautiful long body stretch, sweeping the arms overhead, lengthening out the spine, and then gradually drawing the knees in towards the chest. Gently rocking the knees side to side, and then choosing a side to move all the way over towards. Use your top hand and gradually move back into a comfortable seated position, just like where we begin our practice. And as you arrive there, take a moment, let the eyes close, and I invite you to snap one hand and then the other right over the center of your heart, connecting with your higher self here. I'm going to read through four simple mantras, and I invite you to repeat them after me, either silently in your mind's eye, or you can say them out loud. May I be safe and loved. May I be happy and healthy. May I be kind and caring. And may I know that all is well. Let those mantras fill your heart space with deep knowing. And we'll close our practice together by taking one last deep breath, circle sweeping the arms up, drawing in a deep sense of gratitude for this day, this life, this very breath. Palms meet, drawing your thumbs down again to heart center. I thank you so much for tuning in. From my heart to yours, namaste. everyone once again for being here and I just hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay well and stay healthy.